Well, America's talking about the latest celebrity sex tape, but this one actually turned out to be a complete tease. And also, everyone's talking about these parents. They say that they're pissed to be expecting twins after IVF treatment. And that was who, in their own words. Exactly. Quote this. Exactly. So, so were they being wrong? Were they wrong to say that? To be that brutally honest online? It's one of the things we're talking about today with the founder of FabMom.com, Jill Sim uh, Simonian. I'm sorry, Jill, Simonian. in Los Angeles. You got it. Yeah. All right, yeah. love it, Jill. And also, we got with us the editor. Yes. Of always a list, John Murray, right here in the flesh in Atlanta. So good to have you here in Atlanta because yeah. we only have been talking about your shoes, but we do have to get to some <laughs> other <laughs> topics. Let's start with that sex tape stunt. It actually seems to be working. It's been talked about on every show. Remember Alyssa Milano from Who's the Boss and Charmed? Well, she claimed that her sex tape was leaked online, and then she tweeted a link to this. Take a look. 2013. <laughs> Our nation is on the brink of yet another conflict in the Middle East, this time in Syria. The American people await their decision. Now on to Egypt. So you get it, she got people to look at the Syria coverage there. She's a celebrity spokesperson for UNICEF, by the way, so she's trying to get more attention for the children in Syria. So, John, this seems to be working, I think. You know, look, there's this old adage, uh, if you want to hide something from a man, put it in a book. Well, <laughs> this has taken it to a whole nother level. If you want to get something to a man, put it in a sex tape spoof. If you really want to pay attention to world news, partner with Vivid Entertainment. Uh, Let Victor see the, the sequel of the Paris Hilton tape. And oh, by the way, we're covering the new Gerald Arias tape. I, know. I am filing that. Look at Lynn looking at me. Is that true, Ryan? <laughs> no comment. Go, yeah. <laughs> so, Joe, what do you think? I think this is just a pure testament to the sheer brilliance of Alyssa Milano. I mean, from time to time, I talk about celebrity moms on my site, thefabmom.com. And, and Alyssa Milano is one of those moms that is stylish, that, you know, she has a little toddler, and she's always tweeting some things. But this is a prime example of a celebrity mom with a great brain who really has an invested interest in the world. And she does have, you know, a sense of humor of what we, as a mass, tend to pay attention to, sex tapes. And she's trying. Trying, I think maybe as a more, you know, grounded mother, parent type of a person now to shift our attention. It's really important in the world. It's brilliant. And she's been successful at it. Exactly. I mean, it's really working. Yes. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's talk about this other mm -hmm. uh, topic because it has everybody talking today. It's this blog that parents are fuming about online. After learning that they were having twins, a mom and dad each wrote about their anger and regret in this blog called Babbel.com. So the mom posted this. The twins are coming fast, and I don't feel a sense of joy. Instead, I feel responsible. We only wanted one. Seven months into my pregnancy and in therapy, I still feel remorse and am terrified for our future. So then the dad writes this. This time around, we're counting down, not like expectant parents, but like cancer patients wow. with only months to live. So you can imagine the comment section exploded. So then yeah. we posted this story on HLNTV.com. A lot of our viewers were furious. So should we be angry with these parents, or are we attacking them for, be brutal, for being brutally honest? John, uh, you know, my wife's expecting twins. I was thrilled, over the moon. And then I see this. What do you think? Is it just honesty, we let it go, or, hey, how was, could you say that cancer patients? Some thoughts you really should keep to yourself. There are so many women in this country that are struggling with infertility issues that are trying to have kids. I mean, you hear these stories all the time. There have been celebrities. Uh, from Arthur Neville to my friend Sherry Shepard, all of them have struggled. Right. So to see a parent go through that and work really hard, particularly women of a particular age who really, really struggle to make it happen, okay, not only did you get one blessing, you got two. And so to take your blessing and then, you know, to, to speak about it in this way, it really is poor form. It's a hard thing for people to understand, but Jill, can I get your, your perspective from a female's point of view? Fertility for any couple is so incredibly challenging, and they also, we should note, went into how long they had been going through fertility treatments, how trying it was on their marriage, and emotionally for them, it's almost similar to some people that, to postpartum, that you can't possibly understand how you can think emotionally in that manner but the toll that it's taken on you has been to such a level that it, your mind goes there could this be a case of that 
It, you know what? It, it, you, everyone has said so many right things right on. John, first of all, I agree with you about this is a blessing and that this is just raw honesty that maybe they should not have shared online. But as a woman, and if, you know, again, not to direct you to my site, the fabmom.com, but I did write about, and I did not have an issue with fertility, uh, you know, thankfully. But when I first became pregnant, I went through an entire tumultuous pregnancy of being scared, being fearful, being petrified. And I was only pregnant with one baby. And I can imagine the swell of emotions that this couple has gone through because of their fertility issues. And now they've got twins. It really is a lot to handle. And I just want to, you know, I don't know, send my prayers and words out to those, you know, parents saying, listen, wait till the babies are mm -hmm. born and you know, God willing, you are going to feel much differently. This is just fear talking, and they just happen to put it online. You know, only point, problem though. is if they're looking at the comments online and they're upset that people are upset, you have to expect that yeah. because that's what you put out it's there. It's true. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Jill, thank you so much. John, thank you as well. Thank Good you. to see you here, my yeah. friend.